Hello friends, this is Dibya here. Welcome back to Peppy Post video tutorial series. So today I am going to talk about one of the uh, very important uh, email deliverability related uh, aspect uh, that is uh, IP reputation. So uh, what is this IP reputation? Uh, that is something which I am going to talk in detail in this particular uh, video. Before that, uh, you might be having a lot of confusion around uh, uh, what is uh, sh a shared IP or what is a dedicated IP. So uh, in this particular video, I'm going to talk about those also, whether you should be using a shared IP or a dedicated IP uh, and uh, how to check what is the reputation of those IPs. Because uh, if you are not using a highly reputed IP address, then there is a high chance that your emails will start landing into spam. So if you are using any of the email service provider uh, like uh, Peppy Post or uh, any other provider uh, which you have uh, in your particular geographical uh, region, then you should first go back to that email service provider, try to check what are the IP addresses from which they are going to send your email, check the reputation of those IP addresses. So before buying any product uh, from any of the email service provider, it is very important to check the reputation of their infrastructure. So if the reputation is not that great, then uh, that means uh, that particular service provider is not a right fit for you. So uh, how to check uh, uh, the reputation of those IPs? Uh, I'm going to talk about those also in detail in this particular video. So before that, uh, let's talk about a little bit more about uh, what is shared IP and what is dedicated IP. Whenever you go for a particular email service provider, by default, most of them offers shared IP addresses to their customers. So what is this shared IP address? So this means uh, your email is going to be sent via a IP address which is going which is already been used by some of the other uh, customers of that particular service provider. So there might be hundred or thousands of customers who of that particular service provider who are already using that IP address and you will be also placed in that particular IP address. Uh, so your account will be also mapped to that particular IP address. So all these thousand customers will be all together sending emails from the same IP address. So now what's the problem of uh, if a lot of people are sending emails from the same IP address? So there are pros and cons both. What is the uh, cons? Let's first discuss that. So even let's suppose two or three uh, senders in that particular uh, network. So there are thousand customers who are sending emails. So if let's suppose there are two, three uh, customers are there uh, who are uh, sending bad emails. So they are sending, let's suppose uh, phishing emails or they are sending spam emails from that particular IP address. Then the reputation of that IP address might get impacted. So what when I say IP reputation will get uh, impacted. So there are a lot of DNS BLs are there. Lot of uh, service providers are there who measures the uh, reputation of IP addresses. And uh, these uh, reputations are being considered by Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail and any other uh, mailbox providers to check whether they should accept an email or not, whether they should place a email into inbox or not. So there are lot of uh, other parameters while there are a lot of other parameters also there but they considered IP reputation as one of the key parameter when they are trying to inbox your email. So it's very important to check uh, whether you are on a shared IP address network or you are on a dedicated IP address network. So in case as I said in shared IP address there might be thousands of customers who are using the same IP address so if two three are uh, doing bad then you will get your mails will get impacted because you will going to be uh, sending email from a IP address who is carrying a bad reputation. At the same time, what is the pros of this particular thing? Uh, if all people are doing good in your network, that is the thousands of customers are sending very good emails, which are, uh, uh, for example, have around 40%, 60% open rate, then the reputation of that particular IP address will be very, very high. And if you are sending also emails from that particular IP address, then uh, the there your uh, the chances of your mails landing into inbox will be very high because you will be sending emails from a very very premium pipe which is having a 
very high reputation on some of these uh, uh, service providers who check uh, the reputation of the IPs. Uh, so this is a pro. So uh, uh, if we go to the dedicated IP address, what is dedicated IP address? So it's a IP address which will be dedicated to you. So this means uh, you are only the person who are going to send emails using that IP address and the entire reputation uh, of that particular IP address will uh, be measured via the emails which you are sending. So you will be whole and sole responsible for the reputation of that particular IP address. So uh, when you are, if you are going to uh, choose a dedicated IP address, make sure you are choosing a IP address who is already having a good reputation or it's having a neutral reputation. Don't uh, subscribe for a dedicated IP address who is already having a bad reputation. There might be uh, that uh, service provider has already given that particular IP address to some other provider in past couple of months and now he's giving that particular IP address to you to send emails. So be cautious, check your IP reputation, uh, check the reputation of the IP address first, whether you are using the shared IP or whether you are using a uh, dedicated IP address. So like in this case, uh, Peppy Post, uh, uh, also we uh, give uh, shared IP address to all our customers by default, but which one is good? Shared IP address is good or dedicated IP address is good? Because uh, in case of dedicated IP address, you have to pay extra bucks to the service provider to in order to get that particular IP. But uh, there are other cons also of dedicated IP address. While it looks lucrative that you will be the only person that who is going to send emails. But even if you send some bad email or maybe you are you are sending emails which are not 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 bad but not very really engaging. So then uh, the reputation of that IP address will start going uh, down. But uh, if you are on a shared network where all the people are sending very, very good emails, then the reputation of that IP address will be always maintained or it will be on the higher set even if you are sending some low engagement emails. So uh, that's the uh, pros of uh, using a shared IP and uh, I, at the same time I have told you the pros of using a dedicated IP. Now uh, in uh, my view, uh, based upon my experience, and uh, what I learned uh, while delivering emails for last uh, uh, around a decade, uh, decade of time, uh, what I have learned is uh, using a shared IP is very, very good. And uh, in fact, in Peppy Post, uh, we recommended people to be on shared IP address only. So when we uh, tell our customers to be on shared IP address, we ensure that whoever is there on the shared IP address pool are good senders. At Pebby Post, we are very, very specific about uh, what type of customers we are onboarding. And uh, if we are onboarding any bad sender, then uh, we immediately terminate the account. If we observe a, any bad activity on our network, we immediately terminate the account. So we have very strict anti-spam uh, policies and engines in place who uh, terminates any of the bad senders who uh, get a chance to enter our network. So uh, we uh, try to maintain a very, very premium shared IP address pool where uh, people are sending emails with more than 40% open rate. So, uh, uh, but uh, as I said, uh, don't uh, uh, go by uh, what uh, the service providers are saying. You should first go and ask your service provider about the IP address which they are going to allocate you to send emails. Check the reputation of that IP address first before buying the product. So how to check the reputation? Uh, I am going to explain you that. Uh, so for that, uh, I have written a detailed tutorial also uh, in which will, you will file. You will find the link of that particular tutorial below in the description. Uh, so uh, you or you can go to the Google and you can search for Peppy Post tutorial and uh, you will find the link uh, there also. So uh, IP reputation can be checked on uh, various uh, services. Uh, so there are a lot of tools are there who try gives uh, the reputation uh, of your IP. So like here I have mentioned different tools uh, which you can use to check the reputation of your domain or IP address. So like IP word is there, sender score is there. So I will use sender score and I will try to show the reputation of a dedicated IP versus a uh, a reputation of a shared IP uh, right away. So uh, for that uh, here uh, you can see I have taken a example. Uh, so this is an email from uh, Swiggy. Uh, 
uh, which I have received on my mailbox. So if I go and uh, click on this uh, down arrow button, I can see uh, the headers like uh, from where it, uh, the mail has been sent. So uh, in order to find the IP address from which this email, uh, which IP address this Swiggy has used to send email. So you have to click on this uh, three dots button. You have to go and you have to click on show original and then it will show a screen where you can show a detailed headers. So here you can see uh, uh, the IP address. So this is actually the IP address which are which has been used to send uh, this particular email. You need to copy this particular IP and then go to send a score. Sender score is a website uh, who can tell you uh, the reputation of this particular IP address. So here on the screen you can see I have opened uh, sender score. So you need to log in in order to see a detailed uh, report of uh, your particular IP. The registration is free. You can go and register here. And then in this screen I will enter the IP address and click on view report. You can see it is calculating the reputation and it's showing a score out of 100. So it's showing the score of 85. So now this is one of the IP address uh, which uh, uh, this is the one of the dedicated IP address of Peppy Post uh, which this customer uh, Swiggy is using to send email. So here you can see the reputation of this dedicated IP address is 85. This means uh, Swiggy is sending very good emails and he's trying to maintain his the reputation. And 85 is a very, very good score uh, out of 100, which this Swiggy has earned. So now this, because this is a dedicated IP, uh, the brand who is sending emails has to put the extra efforts in order to un, uh, like uh, maintain the reputation of this particular IP address because uh, the uh, reputation of this particular IP address completely depends upon what you are sending as a brand. So here I have shown you an example of a, a company who is using a dedicated IP address of Peppy Post and uh, how to check the reputation. Now uh, uh, I will show another example of a customer of Peppy Post who is using a shared IP address of Peppy Post and let's see what is the reputation of that particular IP address. My screen is stuck a bit, so I'm trying to navigate to the next tab. Yeah, and enter the IP address. Make sure you are already logged into this sender score in order to see a detailed report of this particular IP address. So as I mentioned, it's very important that uh, whatever IP address you are uh, taking from the service provider, you should first check the score uh, on sender score and on, on the other different tools which I have mentioned in my tutorial. So now here you can see the IP, this particular shared IP address 103 uh, dot something. Uh, so the reputation of this particular IP address is 97, which is out of 100 getting a uh, score of 97. It's very, very difficult. So uh, this means uh, this is a very, very uh, great uh, IP address. Uh, and in fact, this is a uh, shared IP address, which is being used by some of the other uh, customers to send email. So this is how, uh, how we are maintaining the reputation of our IP address as uh, very, very uh, like high reputation standards, which we have maintained for our IP addresses. So uh, we are very, very specific about uh, the uh, uh, reputation of the IP addresses and hence we uh, key, try to keep our infrastructure very clean. Uh, we try to ensure whatever customers are there on the shared IP address or dedicated IP address are the ones who are sending very, very good customer engaging emails. So uh, on Peppy Post, you really don't have to worry about a, uh, while you are going with a shared IP address. If you are sending a good email, you don't have to worry about whether you are on a shared IP address or a dedicated IP address on Peppy Post. Uh, but 
uh, there is a uh, like uh, you can say uh, uh, thinking uh, with people uh, like uh, there are like bulk senders are there who sends uh, a lot of emails there are big enterprises are there who send lot of emails and if you want to make sure and if you want to uh, ensure additional security layer on the uh, your email sending practices then i would recommend it going for a dedicated ip address but remember only if you are a very very big sender big enterprise sending a lot of emails to your customers like uh, millions of emails you are sending uh, in a day uh, or in a uh, month then uh, i would recommend it you for going for a dedicated ip address otherwise there is no real need of uh, uh, spending money in order to uh, subscribe for a dedicated ip address shared ip address is also good but it depends upon the service provider who is maintaining that particular shared ip address because if your service provider is not maintaining the shared ip addresses as perfectly then the reputation of those ip address will go down so uh, here i have shown you all the tools which you can use uh, in order to check uh, the reputation of your domain and uh, ip address there are a lot of tools are there uh, like mx toolbox barracuda uh, even uh, google Post postmaster is also there where you can go and check the reputation of the uh, ip addresses so uh, you can use all those tools uh, in fact you should uh, ask your email service providers where whether they are measuring the reputation of your domain or IP address or not. It's very important that your service provider is proactively monitoring the reputation of their IP addresses and domain and making you aware of uh, when things are going uh, wrong. So I have uh, written a detailed tutorial. Uh, some of my other colleagues have also written detailed tutorial on uh, what are the factors which affects the domain reputation, IP reputation, and how uh, you can ensure that you are following those guidelines and your emails are uh, landing into inbox and not getting blacklisted and your domains are uh, whatever domains you are using or whatever ip addresses you are using for that the reputation is always high so for that i would recommend it you uh, reading our tutorials uh, so you can search on google uh, peppy post tutorials and you can find the tutorials there or you can go below in the description and you will see the uh, links to the tutorials uh, uh, around this domain reputation and ip reputation so uh, hope this video uh, was very helpful in in terms of identifying the reputation of your ip and which type of ip address you should choose whether shared ip or dedicated ip in my next videos i'm going to talk more about uh, uh, how you can protect the reputation of your domain or ip what are the best practices you should follow uh, meanwhile you can go back and check the reputation of your ip and domain with your service provider you can use these tools also and try to make sure you are following all the best practices. Till then, thank you so much. Bye-bye.